California auctions carbon, GMO study causes uproar, and the Prius gives birth to a baby. This is Planet 100. Welcome to Planet 100, the top environmental news stories of the day in 100 seconds or less. I'm Sarah Backhouse and it's Thursday, January 14th. While the US Congress struggles to reach a consensus, California is moving ahead with its own cap-and-trade plan in an effort to reduce the state's greenhouse gas emissions. California will auction off 100% of CO2 and other emissions permits following a recommendation made by a committee of distinguished economists, scientists and environmental policymakers, one of which includes a hefty kickback to California residents, 75% of an expected $20 billion annual windfall. A cap-and-trade system with 100% auction permits is already underway in nine northeastern states, raising $500 million in 15 months. Now over to Catherine Goldstein for Webvine. Thanks, Sarah. Monsanto is often targeted by food system reformers as a major villain, and this week the internet is hopping about a new study which shows that genetically modified corn, which has been approved for us to eat, causes organ failure in rats. Scientists are concerned that there has not been enough long-term research on the health and environmental effects of GM corn, and currently manufacturers are not required to label whether or not their products contain GMOs. As one of the first outlets to cover this, we'll be closely watching the reaction to this interesting news about our food supply. Thanks, Catherine. And finally, the Toyota Prius gives birth to a baby. The FTCH compact hybrid concept car is a full 22 inches smaller than the Prius, cheaper too, and the first in the rumored family of Priuses. Find out more at treehugger.com. And that's our show for today. See you tomorrow for Planet 100's Top 5.